Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending the Strawberry Festival's Gospel Sing. Whatever we do here in Buchanan, we want to honor the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm just proud we live in a community that does so many things to honor the Lord. And I'm going to welcome Gary Cannell right now to share some thoughts. Make him welcome as he comes to the stage. Thank you, Pastor. You know, I, I'm Gary Cannell. I'm the first vice president. Shane Jenkins, our president's at work. He'll be here just as quick as he can get here. Um, I'd like to say personally, thank you very much, sir, for all your support and all your staff support and your, congrega and your congregation. Without the Way of Holiness Church, we wouldn't be where we are today with this festival. A lot of people said, you can't do this, you can't do that, but you got to do this, you got to do that. Pastor Jerry and this congregation stepped forward and was there for every step of the way with us. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> this has been a year like another that we've ever had. I've been volunteering for almost well, over 30 years, and I've never seen a festival come together as fast as this one came together, under some of the worst circumstances that you could ever want to go through. The board of directors here, they've, everybody's wore about five or six hats. There's people that are still out doing jobs that need done, putting it away, picking it up. You know, we didn't have a carnival. We didn't have the parades. But what we did have, we had the fellowship on the streets of local people. And the numbers that you get when you bring in all the bands and all the parades and all the folks from out of town, I'm going to tell you something. I, I had a, a concession stand downtown, and we saw more local people than we've ever seen before. And the Lord blessed us all as a board and as a community because he let us go forward under all the circumstances that everybody said wouldn't work. Morgantown has already canceled theirs. The Ohio State Fair canceled. You can count the list of cancel on one side, but the ones that have stepped forward are on the right. And without the good Lord behind us in the way of holiness church and our, our politi a lot of our politicians that got us through a lot of hard ways and our sponsors, we wouldn't, where we, we wouldn't be where we were. There wasn't a sponsor that didn't say, what can we do to make this happen? And how can we make it happen better? Yeah, a lot of people are going to say it wasn't better, but yes, it was because we set forward as a community yes, and as a group. And I'm not here to preach a sermon, but I'm here to tell you that without the good Lord, we wouldn't be where we are. <laughs> so with that, with that, I'd like to turn it back over to our, to our master of ceremonies and thank you again from the bottom of our heart. For the first song, eh, I'm not singing. Um, I actually need that paper that you had. I'm going to introduce um, some special people, not sing. My name is Lori Meadows. I'm the second vice president. Um, so I would like to introduce you to some, to some very special people um, with the West Virginia Strawberry Festival Board of Directors. Um, please stand and be recognized, or do what Vera says to do. <laughs> um, and this board, it's, uh, I invite every one of you, uh, Christy, who's been with the Princess, Sarah, who's gone everywhere from selling soup to keeping Shane in order, and Jessica has helped, sold tickets, and been in headquarters, things you may not even know that happens. And uh, what would we do without you running the kitchen, Lacey, and, and just keeping calm and everything? And the craft show, I mean, we just, without you, Matasha, there would be no craft show. Anyway, 
they deserve a round of applause, I, I ask you. And Gary Cannell, Jawbone Park, Gary Cannell, uh, he's, he's just wonderful. Okay, we would also, you all can have a seat. Thank you very much. Oh, love you. I did too. No, she. Okay, we also have our royalty here that we would like to acknowledge. Um, so we have our hostess princesses, our king, the minor court and queen, her maids, and her minor court, teen queen, and all her maids, the junior royalty. Um, the queen is Kylie Simmons, the king, J.D. Bourne, um, the teen queen, Madison Stiletto, the Teen Queen, um, Madison Burnside, and we also are pleased to have Tucky, Tucker Riley from Rock Cave Elementary. Where are you, Tucker? Oh, look how handsome. And we certainly don't want to forget Tori Adams, our junior hostess princess. Do we have any other um, junior royalty here today? Okay, so um, all of you, give us a big wave, and we thank you very much for honoring us with your presence. Um, and we want to, our, our sponsors, you're going to see them periodically coming up on your screen. So, um, you know, when you go in, thank them for sponsoring the event that I know you're going to enjoy today. Um, so, Pastor Jerry, you can introduce the groups and whichever you do. And enjoy. I'm not going to sing, so all is good. Thank you. Thank you. We're just honored that we can be part of the, our community. I want to welcome the uh, worship team from right here at Way of Holiness. Pam Hedrick is the leader. Sonia Akers and Kena Sanders are vocalists with her. Stephen Harlow on lead guitar. Linda Click on the piano. Chuck Widmer on the bass. And Thomas Trouble on, I mean Thomas Akers on the drums. So uh, These are worship songs, these first three songs. If you want to stand, you're welcome to. If you don't, that's fine too. Just however you're more comfortable. But let's just give the Lord a big hand of appreciation for His goodness.
song is called Raise a Hallelujah. No matter what you're facing today, no matter what you're going through, the key is you're going through it. You won't stay there. But in the midst of it, just go ahead and raise a hallelujah because that means you're magnified in the Lord in this situation. Amen. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah.
know about you, but I'm not ashamed that I'm born again Christian. And Jesus took my place, took your place. It was the divine exchange. Hallelujah. This song just tells the whole gospel story. Amen. Praise God. You, you may be seated. I want you to welcome award-winning cellist Camden Wentz. I appreciate the presence of the Holy Spirit in this house today. Quite a variety. We're getting ready to do some traditional hymns here, and then you're going to hear bluegrass gospel. So, well, you know, I think God likes it all. I get a kick out of one thing. Now, you all gave him 
gave me this MC job, you might be sorry. But some of you that never yell about the volume down at the bands at the festival can't stand loud music in church. The devil wants church dead and boring. And But hey, you know what? When they all begin to shout and praise Jesus, the Pharisees said, tell them to shut up and be quiet. We don't act like that in here. Well, maybe that's why churches are so... I'm going to get in trouble. But I'm just glad that Jesus is alive and he's not nervous. And we hope we don't deafen you, but give him a shout of praise.
Now, that's why I didn't accompany him on the piano. I only have 88 notes. <laughs> Let's make Midnight Storm welcome. Uh, for those of you who haven't met him, Ed and Robin Blankenship, Bill Ham, Andrew Ruggles, and Mark L. Fertig. Did I say that right? For Close, enough. Close enough. And they're from... Uh, Ohio, Kentucky, and Eleanor, West Virginia. And so where all those states come together, that's where they come from. So they've learned in whatsoever state they're in to be content. Their bus broke down last night, and they didn't get here till about 3 o'clock this morning, so we were joking, saying they had their midnight storm. But make them welcome while they come. We're just honored that they are here in Buchanan with us. Been a lot of good good music in Buchanan this weekend.
thing around here, Strawberry Festival? I did hear about it on WSAZ, so that means it's big. Donna and I was wondering where the strawberries are. We thought we get to go to the Strawberry Festival. I bet they'll have all kinds of strawberries. Maybe later. I told her maybe we find a strawberry pie someplace. about why she's setting it up. We can sing one without music. I think you all know this one. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. pretty good, isn't it? Y'all sounded good. I think I see the sun shining out there. You need a cord on yours, don't you? Mm -hmm. huh? You got a missing cord. Well, that one needs one. I don't think that one works without a cord. Check.
headset, he can't hear anything. I don't know if that's his problem or... <laughs> it might just be we're old. Say something in your mouth, kid. Check one, check one. Now can you hear? to the day that I get to meet Jesus face to face. I'll tell you something. The Bible says our eyes and our mind can't even imagine how wonderful that's going to be. You know, I can watch TV and all those computers and they can generate all those make-believe pictures and all that stuff. But that's not even, that can't even, the Bible says that, that doesn't even touch it. I want to go there. How many want to go there today? I've got a couple of children that's lost that I, I want to see them saved. I, I pray every night that God will save them. And I believe with all my heart that he will give me that prayer. Now, I may not live to see it, but that doesn't mean he, he won't answer it. Because the Bible tells me that if I ask and I raise them the way that he told me to raise them, that he'll save them. So if you're a mom and your daddy out there, don't you give up on them babies. You give them to God. 
We went to Amish country a couple weeks ago and found this little jar. And on the top of it, it said, it's gone. And I didn't really know what it meant. I thought maybe it was a cookie jar and the kids had all eat cookies and that's why it said it's gone. <laughs> then it had a verse on it. And it said, get a piece of paper, write down everything that's bothering you, burdening you down and keeping you from serving God and put it in that jar. When you put it in that jar, it's gone. How many times do we go back and we pick it up? We think we can do it. Well, we're wrong. <laughs> we can't do it. No matter how much I love my son, I cannot save his soul. I'd give my life for him and my daughter, but that's not going to save their soul. I can go to church every time the doors open, but that won't save my child's soul. You know what saves my, so my child's soul? Me being an example for my child and me praying to God every night to save their soul and me having you guys pray, God, please save their souls. One day we're going to get to go to a place called Beulah Land, and it's going to be beautiful, and I want them to be there, and I know you want your children to be there too. Let's think about that today, and let's pray for that. Let's pray for our children to be saved.
You know, aren't you tired? <laughs> aren't you just tired of it? Just tired of people being mean to each other and telling each other what to do, <laughs> what not to do? Aren't you just tired of it? Won't it be wonderful to be in a place where everybody loves you? Ain't nobody that does love you. There's no sin, no sadness, no death. Well, all we can do is just live in peace and joy forever in God's son's life. Won't that be wonderful? I'm looking forward to it. This whole world is a hard place, but you know what? Just like that song says, we've got some time, we've got some labor to do. We got and we can't give up. We want to sometimes. Because our body gets tired, but you know what? We've got a job to do. And I can tell you, you aren't sitting here today by accident. <laughs> God knew you would be here today. What are you going to do with it today? I knew I was going to be here, and this is what I think God wanted me to do. Get up here and sing and tell what a wonderful Savior that I have and that I serve. I'm going to do what he tells me to do. You do what he tells you to do. If he tells you to shout, you shout. If he tells you to testify, you testify. If he tells you to come up here and pray for your child, you come up here and pray for your child. I believe that's what the pastor wants you to do. I believe it's called a gospel sing, right? Sing with me. You love. Sing, but Markle down there. Markle, I'm sorry. I just hogged the mic down there. They got to kick me off. You know how they used to have those canes and they pull people off? That's what they're going to have to get. Papa said it was a cane hook. <laughs> you all know this one. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the I shall not be moved in the rock of ages. 
branches I shall not be moved just like a tree That's planted by the I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall not be. I shall not be moved. I shall not be. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved.
pray for Bill. He's, he's had a pretty rough week. He had to bury his sister Thursday, and uh, we had a tent revival to sing that Thursday, and he was there after coming from his sister's funeral. And, but you know what I like about Bill? He came and he said uh, that wasn't a sad funeral because he knew where she was going. <laughs> and buddy, that's a good feeling, isn't it? Bible says to rejoice at the dead. But he he did that Thursday, and then he worked on that poor old bus that broke down <laughs> all day. And we didn't get to leave uh, yesterday until about 11.30 last night, and we pulled in about 2.33 this morning. So we did the morning service, then the other morning service, and then 
now. So he's a trooper, ain't he? <laughs> We're all tired, but he's more tired. I'm gonna let Bill sing this one. He does a real good job on this one. song the angels can't sing, isn't it, Pastor? That's the song that when we get up there, they got to step back, and they don't, they've been singing all this time anyway. They, they can give us time to sing, can't they? That's an old song. Let me tell you a little story about that real quick. We were uh, on our way to, uh, to sing at a church. I forget where it was, Donna. Piketon, Ohio, maybe? Up that way. And uh, we were in a restaurant. Bob Evans, I think, wasn't it, Bill? And we were trying to practice that a little bit because that's kind of scary singing with no music because you can hear every mistake you make. So we were, we were trying to be real quiet and we were humming it, you know, and telling each other what we did wrong and, <laughs> and saying, no, you're... And this man was sitting behind us and he said, uh, 
What was he said? He said, uh, he said, uh, who's singing that song? And we thought, oh, we're in trouble because we're in public place. <laughs> Sing about God. Oh. And we, we said it was us. And he said, that was my grandmother's favorite song. And we said, really? He said, well, will you sing it? Instead of, and so we sang it for him right there in Bob Evans. And they didn't do nothing. Everybody just listened to us, you know. And, of course, everybody's happy we did. I don't know if they were happy we sang it or happy we finished. But they clapped. And uh, he left before us, and we got ready. And there's a big bunch of us, probably eight or ten of us. And we got ready to pay our bill. And the lady came back, and she said, your bill's been taken care of. That little old man paid it. That's the way God does you. He puts people in your path that you don't even you don't even know things that you do we i mean we were at cracker barrel the last time we came out and we we always give a blessing before we eat and it was just something we do all of us do and a man got up at cracker barrel and he came over we first we didn't know what he was doing he just we're sitting there getting ready to eat and he just came over there and uh, he said i just want to tell you what a blessing it is to see people thanking God for their food. And uh, yeah, we got his breakfast. <laughs> of course, there was just a couple people, but Donna wrote him a really nice note to let him know what a blessing that was for us to know that there's people out there that still see things. They still look for God, even in Cracker Barrel. There you go. Can we say amen? Amen.
Robin said, talk a little bit, Bill, while I get in tune. These instruments are like we are sometimes. We get out of tune. And I've said it earlier in the first 9 o'clock and 10.30. Uh, if you're here, under the sound of my voice, and you don't know Jesus Christ personally, I beg you, get off somewhere, whether it be here, at home, and meet Jesus Christ to where you can know him. When you wake up, you know, you can think, I get up in the morning, people might think I'm crazy. I hope you don't. I say, hello, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. And I may not hear it uh, like we talk to them there, but I hear it here. And I know it here. That's all that matters. If you're here today, Please, 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 I beg you. You know, we're not promised the next breath. If you're here and you don't know Jesus, or if you just got away from him, or, you know, he's not went nowhere, he's right there. Move up, or move up to Jesus closer. You can get really close to Christ. If you're here today and you don't know him, I mean, I keep saying this, people... I've sung for a long time, and I've seen people get saved just went to church for 15 years. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Move up. You can get real close to, to God. And we, I want to thank you, for, brother, for having us. Another end about this church is remarkable. We go to a lot of churches. I think Robin said this earlier. You might, uh, oh, I don't want to say other churches is bad, but I'm telling you, you got a good church, Pastor. Every time you walk in the door here, you can feel the spirit of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And the people is not ashamed to hold their hand up and praise God. And that's something to, to be really proud of and thankful for. You know, you could not have a nice church like this or a nice church family like this. My goodness, it's, it's something that God's really blessed here. And we're so happy and honored to get to come here and play and sing with you. do y'all one more and uh, thank you all for for being here and enduring you <laughs> well you know what i hope this isn't the last time we see you guys if i don't see you all on this on this side i hope i see you on the other side <laughs> because uh, we're all going to face that one of these days some of us face it sooner than others but uh, my goal is heaven my goal is not fame my goal is not wealth my goal is not to be popular my goal is not to be in the movies or any of that stuff like some people. I don't want none of that. You know what I want to be? I want to be in heaven. Amen. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to be what the pastor said. The Bible says we're to be separate. We're, people should be able to look at us and say, there's something different about them. Amen. And if they can't do that in the way you walk and you talk, then you need to tweak it a little bit. You need to tweak it. <laughs> You got to tweak it. You got to be a walkie-talkie. You got to walkie what you talk. I'm a poor rich man. I think we all are.
Monsieur. Would, uh, would any of you all like for Midnight Storm to come back next year? You're sure. Amen. You all have something to say here? I know you do. You all can have seats just for a minute. And by the way, they do have CDs in the back. We have some awards to pass out, so I'm going to let Gary present the awards, and you, you say the names, you give the awards to me, and you come up when you Let's do it the other way around. <laughs> Mrs. Meadows, let's do it the other way around. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Again, we'd like to thank the Way of Holiness, your pastor, your congregation, when times were tough and things were down and everybody told us it wouldn't work, it worked. It worked right here in the Lord's house. Thank you. Home is where the strawberries are. We'd like to thank Thomas Akers, the event coordinator um, with the Way of Holiness Church. Vera, am I going in the right order, honey? Doesn't matter now. Keep going. <laughs> we've, we've walked with the Lord this week anyway, so let's keep going. Okay, what did you think of that cellist? Camden Wentz, would you come up and be recognized? Camden? Thank you very much. Oh, I want it right here. Um, all right, of course, we want to thank the Way of Holiness Church, um, which probably will include Sonia Akers, Thomas Akers, Linda Click. <laughs> Steve Harlow, and of course, Pastor Jerry, Tammy Morrell, Kena Sanders, Sarah Wells, and Chuck Widmer. Happy birthday, Chuck. And I, I would, yeah, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I pinned these to the, the worship leader, and he's really surely getting a great hand. He just bought someone. You know what would be really different? If Chuck heard happy birthday in harmony. And I think um, Pam Hedrick was with that group, and here's, here's yours. Thank you. 
Thank you. The Way of Holiness host family. same wood it's a tradition on our board to use the same wood and we have them made and they're the wood is dried in elkins and donated through El well we pay a little bit but it comes through elkins west virginia and it's oak so it's just as strong as we hope that it keeps us strong as the wood itself is all right also and all of these are presented uh, on behalf of the West Virginia Strawberry Festival Board of Directors. Um, so this certificate of appreciation goes to Ed Blankenship. Ed, are you here? There you go. You're welcome. Bill? Who can fix equipment and sing and... <laughs> I should have delivered it to you. Just brought it to your chair. Andrew. Andrew Ruggles. You probably forget more about music than I've ever learned here. Markle. Robin Blankenship. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you. Um, the Midnight Storm Feature Group, and that's you. Thank you. This is my first gospel sing. I will never miss another. It's just wonderful. Again, we thank you so much. Summer Hiltner, we'd like to present an award to Summer, and we'll get that to her. She's in here. Pam Humphreys. We'll make sure she gets you. And our final award is to Heather Hall. Heather. So we'll make sure that, that they get these. We would also just like to thank everyone who pulled this together, our sponsors, um, and those of you that are moved by today's events. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Pastor, you want to close? Yeah. Thank you. I'd, like to, I'd like to recognize Greenbrier Arman and his wife for coming out. He's on our school board, and it means a lot. And it's really great to see you out with Dr. Arman. It's wonderful. Thank you. I was going to ask you to close in prayer anyway, Doc, so one more hand of appreciation for this group. I had a praying grandmother, and she said, never pass up an opportunity to pray. 
Uh, let's bow our heads and thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the sweetest fruit there is, the strawberry. And thank you for the sweet music and the sweet, sweet spirit. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Just died for love. 